Morning, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Anyway, just wake up. I guess it's time before they're having breakfast. It's time to go to see the, the monastery. If you can see down there, there's a beautiful nature around. Let's go down, let's go have a look at the monastery. Then let's go have breakfast. And then let's head to Bulgaria. So as you would expect from a, a hotel in a monastery, you can see it's quite a, a religious hotel. You have golden icons. One, two. Anahita is it? Well, the old version of Anahita is everywhere. It seems here they teach you how to roast uh, human beings. That's the joy of uh, religious books. So we can see from the painting this one is, uh, is much more um, new than the ones we saw in Serbia. I think I've seen outside is from the 19th, the end of the 19th century. Okay, let's go for breakfast. Oh, it's chilly today, yeah? <laughs> I think I'm quite high in the mountains. It's, I think I'm, I am at 800 meters altitude, something like that. That's the breakfast of the day. Yogurt, macchiato, French toast, which we call uh, lost bread in French, cucumbers, tomatoes, and a bit of cheese. Energy for the ride of the day. Okay. Let's head to Bulgaria, guys, today. Nice. Let's go back to the European Union, and it's gonna be my last, uh, my last European country. So, guys, I forgot to tell you. Actually, today my my left knee is very painful. I think because of the rest, the long rest I had in Skopje, my body is not used to to ride anymore. So. My knee is painful, but I still I have to ride because basically to reach Bulgaria I have a I have a mountain pass at 1,100 meters, and today is good weather, but the problem is that uh, tomorrow apparently it might uh, snow tomorrow in the in the mountains. So where I am, <laughs> so if I don't want to get stuck for quite some time here, I need to ride to, uh, to ride today. Despite the pain. Oh. So let's go to Bulgaria. So to explain you my problem with the, my knees. Basically, it takes a long time for my body to get used to cycling. And if I, if I push too much, too hard, after a, a, period, of a, a period without cycling, my knees get, pain, get painful, basically. I don't know why, it's probably just my, my body is twisted, so it's, uh, it takes a long time for my body to get used to cycling. So when it's like that, when my knees are, are painful, well, then I'm happy I have an engine because without the engine I, I would just increase the, the pain and I would not be able to cycle basically. Basically 10 years ago I, I tried to 
to go on a journey with a normal bicycle and because of my knees I could not do it because the pain was too too strong so now with the electric bike I can manage the pain basically so what I do when it's like that I just go slower than usual and uh, and I try to, to maintain the pain at a at a norm, at a, a reasonable level so that I can keep going because if I push too hard and the pain increases basically then the pain is too strong and I can't cycle anymore because at every pedal stroke it's like I have a knife if it's like somebody stabs me in the knee so it's uh, it's quite annoying this pain in the knee is basically is one of the reasons why I went for a uh, for the bike I'm, uh, I'm using for, for an e-bike I guess I'm arriving at the border nice hey. last border crossing inside Europe there's a queue the official allowed me to to, to cut the queue <laughs> that's very nice of them here. France. Where are you going now? I'm going to. Well, uh, I don't remember. Took your PCR test or? Uh, I have vaccination. Vaccination. Sapareva yeah. Vanya. After that, go to. Plovdiv. Ah, so I just have to show the vaccination certificate, and then I should be able to get through. Yeah. That's it, I am in Bulgaria and I'm at the summit of the pass so no more pain in the knee for quite some time Let's go down and today let's go to Sapareva Banya The fall is here and it's, well, and it's beautiful It's beautiful but it's, it's cold <laughs> I'm looking for a restaurant. Here it says restaurant, but it looks closed. So let's look for a restaurant in this kind of deserted uh, town. Maybe here? Ah. Restaurant? No? Well, it looks like there is a bakery. So maybe I'll just buy from the bakery. Excuse me, can I have one like this? <laughs> yes. Da. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. I was starving, it's already half past two. I need to eat something. I can't wait the next town to, to eat something. Look at that, guys. Almost 4,000 kilometers on the bike. So let's see how... What's the taste of a Bulgarian sausage? It looks like there is, there is a chili in it. Because it's a, a little red. <laughs> I 
okay, I'm gonna eat my sausage with some bread. That's gonna be my lunch. And then I'm gonna head to, to where I want to stay tonight. That's a Bulgarian bus stop. They bas basically, they're all like that. Sapareva Banya! Finally! Whew. It's been a long day. It's six o'clock. Eight hours on the road today. Oh my god. Ah. That's very rural. <laughs> Well, I guess I took the wrong road. <sighs> Here it is. Uh, 